The stories of Asian American lives are as amazing and diverse as the more than 15 million Asian Americans living in the U.S. Collectively, we are thought of as one race, yet individually, we bring a rich and colorful heritage to the mosaic called American culture. Asian Americans come from countries in Southeast and Far East Asia and the Indian subcontinent. Our roots have distinct cultures, traditions, and histories, and we speak more than 100 languages and dialects, making us multilingual and multicultural. Asian Americans are an urbanized group. Nearly three-quarters live in metropolitan areas with populations greater than 2.5 million. The history of Asian American immigration is intricately interwoven with the history of Hawaii. In the mid-1880s, with a decreasing population and an increasing international demand for sugar, Hawaii desperately needed workers for its plantations. Those workers would be found halfway around the globe, where in the same era, conditions were creating a supply of people looking to leave their homeland. In rural Guangdong province in China, growing British dominance after Britain defeated China in the Opium War of 1839 to 1842, led to economic hardship for the Chinese. In Japan, a more liberal immigration policy after 1885 prompted many rural Japanese men to leave for Hawaii and the U.S. West Coast. In Korea, Japanese colonization of the country in 1903 led many to escape colonial rule. The lives of the first settlers, however, were far from easy. They suffered inhumane working conditions, wage and racial discrimination, and loneliness and isolation. In the 1860s, Chinese laborers worked on the Transcontinental Railroad, the United States' first coast-to-coast -coast transportation system. They were assigned the hardest, dirtiest, and most dangerous jobs. Up to 1,000 of them, or about 10%, died as a result of avalanches and explosive accidents as they carved their way through the treacherous terrain of the Sierra Mountains. In the 17th and 18th centuries, a few hundred Filipinos known as Manila men escaped slave labor on Spanish galleons on their way to Mexico and settled in bayous outside New Orleans. There they built successful fishing and shrimping industries and today these Filipino Cajuns are in their eighth generation. Asian Americans' growing numbers and prosperity sparked fear in some Americans. Animosity towards the Chinese and other foreigners grew along with the competition for gold during the gold rush and the economic decline of the post-Civil War era. In 1882, the U.S. passed the Chinese Exclusion Act, banning Chinese immigration. This law remained in effect for more than 60 years until its repeal in 1943. Then in 1924, the Immigration Act shut the door on people from the Asia-Pacific Triangle. Today, about a third of the Asian American population are the descendants of these ancestors. The Asian American population increased dramatically after 1965 when the Immigration and Nationality Act became law. Asian Indian Americans are one of the fastest growing groups since, with the highest level of educational attainment and income level. In 1977, U.S. Representatives Frank Horton and Norman Mineta and Senators Daniel Inoue and Spark Matsunaga introduced resolutions asking the President of the United States to declare the first 10 days of May as Asian Pacific Heritage Week. They chose May to commemorate the arrival of the first Japanese immigrants in the U.S. in 1843. It also marks the completion of the Transcontinental Railroad on May 10, 1869. While we celebrate the contributions and accomplishments of Asian Americans, we pause to remember and honor our ancestors for building the foundation on which we stand. We owe much to them for their fight for justice, sacrifice for their children, and unconditional commitment to their family and community. Their resilient spirit inspires and challenges us to make a difference in the world 
and build a stronger future for our children.